Hi, David. Hi, Karat. Tell me, how can experience or empirical data help in managing risks? These are both very helpful in different settings. We talked about risk being defined or understood as uncertainty that matters. So it has two dimensions. There's an uncertainty dimension and how much it matters. How much it matters is measured in terms of the effect on objectives if the risk occurs. And it's quite easy to estimate that dimension just by imagining ourselves into the future. Imagine that this particular uncertainty had come true and had happened. And then what would that do to our timeline and to our budget and to our performance and our reputation, our regulatory compliance and all of those objectives. We can imagine ourselves in that situation and easily estimate, usually quite easy, the impact on objectives. The uncertainty dimension, not so easy. And we talked in an earlier question about two types of uncertain events. There are one-time events and there are repeated events. And if we want to estimate or size that uncertainty dimension, for repeated events, we can use frequency. We can measure from past experience what actually happened. And we have data. We have empirical data where we can measure the number of times that something happened previously. And then we can, from that, derive a frequency which will show us or give us a view of, an estimate of, how likely it is to happen during our particular period of interest, whether it's a project or a strategic planning period or making a decision. So frequency is based on empirical data. But probability is different, as we discussed in the earlier question. Probability is an expression for a one-time event, an expression of your confidence that it, that it will happen or that it won't happen. And so 0% probability doesn't mean it definitely won't happen. It means I have no confidence. And 100% probability doesn't mean it definitely will happen. It just means I have absolute confidence. So it's a different scale of measure. And here we have a real problem because it's, it's an intangible. It's entirely subjective. So how do we make accurate estimates of probability? It's very difficult. I would say it's impossible to come up with a number to say that the probability of this happening is 43% or 67% or 79 This is what we call spurious precision. You know, it appears to be a precise answer, but how do you know that? You know, we can never be that, that certain of, of our confidence. There's always a range, sort of around here. It's kind of 40 to 50% or it's 60 to 70%, our level of confidence. So probability is subjective, and how we make the judgment is usually based on our previous experience. So if I have a lot of experience in this particular area where this risk might occur, I'm a technical expert or, or a subject, subject matter expert, then my experience will help me to make a valid judgment of how likely it is to happen and how confident I can be. And so probability uh, is very much based on experience. And there are other ways we can uh, help ourselves to, to estimate probability by comparing with other similar situations. Is this more likely ha to happen or less likely than you winning the, 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 uh, the, the, the first prize uh, in, a, uh, in a competition? Um, is it more likely or less likely than throwing a dice and getting a six? We can get this kind of estimate um, of probability, but really experience trumps everything else. It is the, the very best way of estimating probability. Thank you so much for explaining uh, the difference between the two terms. It's Thank a you. pleasure.